What's up, YouTube? This your girl, Deidre. Um, okay. I gotta admit, like, I've been wanting to do this video for a very, very long time. I even asked my friends' opinions if I should, and everybody's like, yeah, I should. So, I just wanted to talk about, like, how to be single. And one thing I've noticed, even from my group of friends, that nobody knows just how to be single. Like, what it means to be single. Like, the stigma around being signal, uh, signal, <laughs> single. So, I think I should start from, like, the beginning. Like, when you first freshly break up with, with someone or someone broke up with you. However the hell it happened. Maybe it was a mutual thing. Whatever, right? So, I even follow this for myself when it happens to me. Like, whenever I get into a relationship and it doesn't work out and I'm back to being single. So... For all you guys out there, or girls, guys, well, you you know what I'm trying to say. Follow these and you will be just fine. And I bet you, you will have a, be you will have a better understanding of yourself. And honestly, what you need to do. So, starting from when you first get out of a relationship. So... If you've been with this person for under six months, you liter you literally have three days to cry, um, bitch and moan, get upset, I don't know, destroy something. You, just three days. You you've been with that person for under like six months. Like, come on, man. Like, and if you have been with that person for at least six months, I give you five days. Cause I mean, like, that's half the year of your life wasted on the person so i give you five days if you've been with that person for a whole year and got broke up seven days got a whole week to cry about it bitch about it do anything that would make you feel better get get all that extra pissed offness out and if you've been with that person for over a year count the weeks that you've been with that person as far as, like, how many years? Like, um, you've been with the person for two years, you got two weeks. You've been with the person for five years, you got five weeks. Ten years, you got ten weeks. So, it just, it's, it's, it's just more plausible that way. Everybody needs that time to mourn a relationship because, you know, you spend your time with that person. You invested a lot into that person. Everybody should get upset. And I, I don't understand why people's, like, don't be upset over it. Don't cry on it. No. I'm going to be that person to say, cry, get upset, do what you need to do, because you need to just let those emotions out in order to start your healing process and your self-reflection. So after the morning, you know, is over with, the second phase is focus on yourself. Focus on things that you like to do. Like, before you got in a relationship, what was you doing before then? You. That's what you was doing. I hope you wasn't, like, in a relationship and then jumped into another one. Because then, honestly, that's, like, some self-destruction type of shit. And I'm not down for that. So, I always tell my friends, do not jump straight into a relationship. Because you might as well just call them a rebound. Let's just be real. Some of my friends don't, some of my friends even say, they're not a rebound. They're really my boyfriend. And I'm that friend, like, no, they're a rebound. Some friends have gotten mad at me, but then... I want to be like, yeah, you was right when it don't work out. And I'm like, because they were a rebound. Like, come on. But anyway, focus on yourself. Like me personally, I like to go party. I like to exercise. I like to go to the movies. I like artsy stuff. Like I like to paint and write my poetry and stuff like that. I like to do things that make me happy. And all those things make me happy. I like going to wine tastings, conversating with different people, just getting back into the groove of who I am as a person. I don't know, for you, maybe go to a museum. Take yourself out on a date. You deserve it. Especially if you work, like, five days a week. And just take yourself out for a weekend. Go on vacation. Do all the stuff that you like to do best. That is your time. You're by yourself now. You can't say that you can't make yourself happy. Because if you can't honestly make yourself happy, what are you really going to do in a relationship? Let's be real with that. And then after that's done, honestly, this might sound weird for me to say, but 
go play. I mean, you're single now. It's no restraint. Obviously, protect yourself. Don't be risque and promiscuous and all that extraness. Let's not be stupid, people. But let's have some fun, too. Like, there's nothing, nothing, nothing wrong with, like, I'm not even going to say dating. I would say talking to people. I mean, if somebody wants to take you out, fine. If they just want to be there with you, that's totally fine as well. If you want it, of course. Um, there's also key signs to look for uh, when it comes down to that as well. I've come across those too. The people that really want to get to know you, they will ask like personal questions about you. Not too personal, especially if you guys just exchange numbers and you guys just talk to each other. But um, more like those really deep questions and not the obvious ones like what's your favorite color this that and the third honestly those are just you know the the um the regular get to know you questions but for me the get to know you questions revolves around exactly what you guys have talked about like getting further into it like if they want to dig into your mind and how you think for real give them a chance to get to know you because that's actually a good sign but then the other half of it is if all they talk about is all the physical stuff like I just want to touch you or you're so beautiful or you're so handsome and they just found they find any way to like touch you like touch your hand, your knee, your shoulder, always want to hug you, be like, oh, I just want to kiss you and stuff. Let's be real. They just want to get it in. And that's when you have to make a decision if you want to or not. And nothing's wrong if you want to, but just know that it won't go further than that. It just won't. And the further test the waters of that. Don't hit them up for like a month. Literally a month. And then maybe, te no, not even maybe. Text them and be like, so I guess you really hit ghost. And depending on what they say, or if they say anything, that's when you determine it. For me, me personally, if they don't text me at all, then I just delete their number and don't talk to them ever again. But if they do text me, they, they got an extra day. But there has been times where they would hit me for that day and then hit me the next day and then I don't hear from them no more. That's when you just have to cut it off anyway because they just was trying to prove a point like, no, nah, no, nah, it's not like that. It's not like that at all. You're not on their mind for them to even hit you up sometimes. And a whole month has passed. Like, come on. So time to cut it because there's way too many people out there in this world to talk to, to get to know and have a little fun. But... While you're single, it's also a self-reflection moment. You have to seriously look deep within yourself. You even have to look in the relationship of why it fell apart. It's not always them. It might have been some things that you've done that you haven't noticed. People, we have to take self-responsibility as well. I mean, that person possibly has mainly fucked up the whole entire relationship. But... You have to really look into exactly what you've done as well. Even down to the littlest things. You probably were totally innocent and did nothing wrong. But maybe it was like slight annoyances. But at the same time, if that's your personality and they can't deal, then honestly, fuck them. Just forget it. There's so many different people out there in the world. And someone who is just dying to be with you and love you and care for you and be extra with you. And you hurt. <laughs> Ouch. Sorry, money hurt. <laughs> but also real talk. There's absolutely nothing wrong with being single. And I want the stigma to stop when it comes down to like people being single for long periods of time. What exactly is wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with being single for a long period of time. That just means that you're that you value yourself and that you just don't take anybody as a relationship. There's times that you're going to feel lonely, but at the same time, with you being single, you're never really lonely for real. I get that all the time with dudes, like, aren't you lonely? And I'm like, no, I am not. Because guys like you love to approach me. So how am I really lonely? Let's be real with that. Um, and I guess that's all I really wanted to say. Like... Seriously, there's nothing wrong with being single. This is your time. Your time to reflect on yourself, what you want in a relationship, and also see what type of guys are really out there. You can't give everybody a chance. 
if you give everybody a chance, you're going to you're going to continuously be around the same fuckery forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Like for real. Stop jumping into relationships just because you feel lonely. Like, let's be real. Play into your singleness and you will never feel lonely. But if you want to be in a committed relationship, really pay attention to what these people are talking about. Like, seriously, pay attention with your third eye and, like, your extra ears. They might be back here, but really listen, pay attention to signals, their body language, all that mess. The time to be single is to really see everything. Like, everything. And now that I personally see everything, I'm very straight up with a lot of men. Some men like that. I catch men off guard, but I'm very straight up because I peep bullshit. Like, my friends always tell me, like, I am definitely the bloodhound of bullshit. Like, I sniff that shit out. And that's only because I pay attention. So, that's all I really wanted to say. Hopefully, this helps someone. And don't ever feel upset or... Oh my God, I'm single and all my friends are together. That's them. That's them and their life journey. That got nothing to do with you. Stop comparing yourself to everybody else and stop going along with the stigma of being single forever and that spinster bullshit. Like, reflect on yourself. Get yourself together. Pay attention. And enjoy just being by yourself a little bit. You will eventually be in a relationship, but there's no need to rush it. So... Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching my video. Um, like this video. I would really appreciate it. Uh, comment down if you agree with everything I'm saying. And please subscribe. <laughs> so, talk to you guys later. Bye. At least for now. See ya.